Hey guys, it's Penny Pinch and Granny. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys had a wonderful Mother's Day. I know I did. I got to see my son. I hadn't seen him in a year. Uh, the circumstances were bad. He came home for a funeral, but I was excited to be able to see him. My daughter will be by later today, and my other daughter, I should be able to see her next week or so. Let's go over some mail that um, I received, and then we'll get to today's topic. This came from a lady in Texas, and it looks like she handmade it. She did an excellent job, and I appreciate it, and I thank you. All right, this card came from Indiana. Thank you. This one came from the UK. Let's see if we get a glare off of it. This one came from Illinois. And this one is from Connecticut. Should have had these out of the envelopes, I'm sorry. Let's see, this one is from Massachusetts. And this one is from Michigan. She also included a little thing in here said reminding her of the laundry video I did of me hanging clothes. And they cute. Thank you. But it's so cute. All right, let's get that one back in here. I got a couple more here that we're going to show today. This one came from Pennsylvania. And this one is all the way from New Zealand. And the last one is from, let's see, Virginia. Thank you guys so much. Now I have more, but I'm gonna do a few every other day or so. And I thank all of you guys for that. I would love to hear from you. Uh, some people ask me for my post office box. It's on the About page. If you don't know where that's at, the circle underneath this video, the orange circle with the P in it, if you click on that, it'll take you to a page. And across the top, it says Home, uh, Videos, Playlists, Community, and then something else, and then About. So if you click on the About, that's where my address is. And I did get an email set up and I figured it out by myself. I was gonna get my son to help me, but I figured it out. I was excited. Anyway, it's penny pinching granny at gmail.com. So I'd love to hear from you. Either a postcard or an email would be great. Now someone asked me at my age how did I keep my brain active? One thing I appreciate you thinking <laughs> I've got a brain. But anyway my grandmother lived to be 97 years old, and believe it or not, her brain was active. She got weaker as she got older, but she still knew everybody knew what was going on. I was fortunate, we were fortunate to have that. I think all the kids helped for one thing because counting kids, grandkids, great kids, just straight down from her and grandpa, not offshoots of cousins or anything. There was 138 plus when she died. And that was over 10 years ago, so you can imagine we've probably more than doubled that amount now. But she loved doing search words, crosswords, um, watching shows like Jeopardy, uh, Wheel of Fortune, that type of thing. So I'm going to tell you some things that I do to try to keep my mind active. I, for one thing, like to watch documentaries. I like the ones on... Uh, the historical places of the Bible. I like the food ones, the health ones. I also like to watch the brain games they have on YouTube. I, something like, are you a genius or not? It's a little five to 15 minute thing and you get on there and you, you know, answer so many questions in so many minutes or seconds. And if you do, you're a genius, you're not a genius. And there's a show I was trying to think of the name of it. It's, it's some type of brain game show. Anyway, I just, I like watching those. I don't usually get them figured out, but I still like to try anyway. I might get one out of 10. But I like those kind of things. 
I like adding up my items when I go to the grocery store, thrift store, or department stores in my head to try to see how close I can get when I get to the checkout. I also like trying to beat the cash register when people are giving me change. I like to try to beat the cash register before the cash register tells me how much change I'm owed. I like to be able to say it's 76 cents before she can say it's 76 cents. So that's one thing I do. Of course, I like math. I used to tutor geometry and algebra, but I can't do it now. I um, taught myself. I was, I only graduated eighth grade. And then when I was 30, I decided I would go back to school. And somebody suggested college. And I went to college and passed the entrance exam. And then I had to go get a GED because I had only finished the eighth grade. So I went to college for accounting and then switched over to landscaping. But I only did a couple of years. I landscaping wasn't working out because too scared of snakes and rats and lizards. And the accounting, I just, I got bored with. I'll be honest about it. I just actually got bored with it. I mean, I like numbers, but I didn't want to do it for a living. All right. Let's see what else I do. I do the word search games. I like those. And I like the dot to dot. Now, I get these at my trader book because I can buy books, like I told you before, at the thrift store for 10 cents each. And then go to trade a book and get 50 cent or a dollar piece for them and trade them for these type of books or whatever type of book I want. I also like the crosswords. And don't laugh, guys, but I like doing math books. Now, since I'm older and the math is so hard and algebra and geometry is something you have to stay on top of, I have to do like fourth grade and under. But I still like to do them. I mean, it's, it's challenging to see if I can answer, but some of my grandkids, when they got older, trying to help them with math, even though I had tutored it, it had been a while, and I, could, I couldn't help them. I just said, I'm sorry. I said, call your mom. I, I can't figure it out. I'm sorry. Math is, when you get on up to the trigonometry and all that stuff, it's hard. I like math, but when it gets up that advanced, it's hard. But well, that's some of the things that I do to help keep my mind active. Of course, I like to play board games and card games and that kind of stuff. Just not sit in front of the TV all the time because I don't think we should be sitting in front of the TV all the time and vegging in front of the TV. I think you need to do something besides watch TV and play on your phone or play games all the time. Even if it is, just read a book or do a crossword puzzle, something to keep your your mind active. I was going to say something else, and I just had a senior moment. <laughs> I don't even know what it was. That's bad. That is bad. Start to do a video about mind and then have a senior moment. That's terrible. Anyway, oh, I know what I was going to say. I was going to say, I like to read books. I think I need one on brain right now. <laughs> I like to read books uh, by, on the Bible or about food. I like to read, believe it or not, murder mysteries. I don't like the sappy romance mysteries. I don't like that type. I like the Amish stories. I like the murder mysteries such as Tess Garrett's son, um, James Rollins is one of my favorite ones. I like him because, and uh, Joel Rosenberg, they take something out of the Bible or Bible's history and they build a story around it. And then James Rollins at the end, he'll tell you what is true and what is not. And I really like that. But I do like to read those books. But anyway, I'm going to let you go on that. That's the ways that I try to keep my mind active. This is Penny Pension Grant. If you haven't subscribed, I hope you subscribe. And uh, give us a thumbs up. Bye-bye.